yeah this will look a lot better. Hey guys, what's up? I ordered an aftermarket 9mm deep dish steering wheel. It's a suede one. I think it looks a lot better than a leather one. And as you guys said, I got the 9mm one because it looks a lot better. I got this off Show of Imports. That's a Dutch company who delivers a lot of aftermarket parts and they have really fast delivery. So that's always great when buying car parts. Installing an aftermarket steering wheel on your car, which has an airbag, always make sure to disconnect the terminal from your battery, otherwise there's a chance the airbag will explode. Well, let's start on disassembling the steering wheel. Always make sure that the steering wheel is completely straight, the tires are completely straight, because when you take it off and you put the new one on, you always want to make sure that it's completely straight aligned. On the back, there are four nuts which you need to remove. After removing all the four nuts, you should be able to pull out the airbag and tilt it backwards. That way you can disconnect this cable here. And there you have it, the old airbag. As you can see, the original steering wheel is held down with one 20 millimeter nut, which I'm going to remove. And as you can see, the steering wheel is still straight aligned. Pull off the old steering wheel. And always make sure that the clock spring is exactly how it was when you took it off. Because when you rotate it once, the wire inside can snap. And then you don't have a horn or a functioning airbag when you want to put your old steering wheel back. Well, now it's time to install the hub, which you probably ordered off eBay because they're really cheap <laughs> they're seven bucks when you put this thing on you notice there are two holes here in the back they need to slide over this which uh, takes off the indicator stalk but on eBay ones they aren't aligned properly so I'm going to drill two new holes I bought a six millimeter drill bit well after drilling the two holes in the back of the steering wheel hub I should be able to put it over these two pins here. Well, the hub fits, so now it's time to wire up the horn and install the steering wheel. There are two options to wire the horn. One is to take off the connector from your old steering wheel and put it directly on here and put a connector on the cable. The other option is to cut the cable and put a new connector on there. Well, I connected the battery terminal, so let's ground this wire and then press the horn and see if it works. Well, as you see, it works. So I will be grounding this wire somewhere and then we can move to the next step, which is install the steering wheel and disable the airbag light. Don't over tighten it, but make sure it's tight. You don't want your steering wheel to come loose while driving. Well, the new steering wheel looks really good, but before I can drive with it, I need to mask up the airbag light because it's flashing in tiny time because I took out the airbag. So, remove this panel and then your gauge cluster and then you can access the airbag light. Now I should be able to pull this panel off and break some clips. Before we can take out the gauge cluster, Disconnect the speedometer cable and take off the two clips here on the sides. I masked up the airbag light with some electrical tape. That way the airbag light won't blink the entire time. And as you can see, an aftermarket steering wheel looks really great in this interior. So it's definitely worth buying. Well, and that's how easy it is to install an aftermarket steering wheel in your Miata. You can do it in any other car, it's probably the same. Using an aftermarket eBay hub means that you need to do some minor modifications to it but overall it's a pretty easy job to do and it looks a lot better than a stock steering wheel. When you install an aftermarket steering wheel you have a spare airbag and I want to use this so let me know in the comments what I should do with it. I'm certain you guys will find out something funny to do or awesome so let me know. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That means there should be a big crowd. Let's find out.